okay good afternoon all of you so in last lecture we have concluded unit number 6 so today we will start unit number 7 so please write down the title of unit number 7 is shear stresses in beams shear stresses in beams unit number 7 is shear stresses in beams so first we will write syllabus and then we will see point to point okay so i request all of you please write down syllabus distribution of shear stresses 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 in beams in beams distribution of shear stresses in beams in beams of various commonly used sections various commonly used sections various commonly used sections such as such as such as rectangular A rectangular, triangular, triangular, circular, circular, T and I sections, T and I section. So this is the syllabus. So this syllabus is related to calculation of shear stresses. And this unit number six and seven, unit number six and seven are depend on. Unit number five. Unit number five. Already we have studied the unit number five. The unit number five is shear force and bending moment. Shear force and bending moment. So unit number six is related to this part, and unit number seven is related to shear force. Okay. So if unit number five is properly understand, then this unit number six and seven will work. But if unit number five in that unit number five you you have any doubt, so you are unable to remember this unit number six and seven. Okay, so before starting this unit number seven, I will ask to you in unit number six we have discussed the distribution of bending stresses. So anyone please draw here distribution stress distribution diagram for rectangular section. Anyone? Which is the stress distribution diagram rectangular section? G. Who can draw for us? Okay. Ah, uh, those students are attending online. They have to chance. Okay, good. I think Mangedkar Shruti has tried to draw. Okay, good. So this is the bending stress distribution diagram for this rectangular section. So from this diagram, you have to remember three points. So the distribution diagram is linear. Bending stress distribution diagram is linear inclined straight line. Why this linear inclined straight line? Okay, already you have discussed this. Fletcher formula M by I, which is equal to sigma by Y, which is equal to E upon R, and depth of neutral axis is nothing but Y max. Okay, and here also Y max. So we are going to draw this diagram inclined straight line. Why we will draw this inclined straight line? Why we are not drawing this parabolic? Okay. No, this diagram is not depend on this type of section. Already we have discussed this point in unit number five. Power of x is one. Power of x or y? Shruti, power of x or y? X. Not x. We are calculating stress with respect to y distance, na? 
stress is depend on y distance suppose we will put y which is equal to 0 at that time you will get stress which is equal to 0 if we will put y which is equal to maximum then you will get maximum stress that means So my screen is visible? No. No, wait, I will share once again. Now please check. Yes, visible. Okay. So first I will draw here stress distribution diagram for rectangular section. So the suppose this is our rectangular section and this is neutral axis. So our stress distribution diagram is inclined straight line. Inclined straight line. So why we are drawing this inclined straight line? So one basic is behind this. So this stress is depend on this y. Stress ka hote baba tum ka hai y varti bhari hote. If we will put y which is equal to zero, then you will get sigma which is equal to zero. If you will put y which is equal to maximum distance, then you will get sigma max. That means this bending stress is depend on this y distance. Okay. And you observe here y raised to power is 1. y raised to power is 1. If y raised to power is 1 or highest power of this y is 1, at that time we will draw this inclined straight line. So that's why we are drawing here stress distribution, bending stress distribution diagram as a inclined linear line okay from this stress distribution diagram you remember above neutral axis compressive stresses will be generated and below neutral axis tensile stresses will be generated this is first point after that second point you observe here at neutral axis bending stress is zero at neutral axis bending is bending stress is zero whereas at extreme fiber the bending stress is maximum extreme fiber la bending stress kitya hai tumcha maximum hai tarto neutral axis la kitya hai zero hai hachorik mcq definitely which are the bending stress bending stress at neutral axis is zero maximum minimum all of the above none of the above likewise options will be given so please remember bending stress at neutral axis is zero and maximum at extreme fiber okay and here, highest power of y is 1. That's why we have drawn this inclined straight line. Okay, that, that much part we have studied in unit number 6. Now we will move towards our unit number 7. So, for this unit number 7, syllabus is distribution of shear stresses in views. That means we have to draw shear stress distribution diagram for various sections. Okay, which sections for rectangular, triangular, circular, T section and I sections. Okay, so these sections we are using as a beam in our structure. So we have to see how stress distribute in that sections in this unit number seven. Okay, so already in unit number six, we have written one assumption. When we have written one assumption, the beam is in pure bending. The beam is in pure bending is in pure bending so what is the meaning of this sentence shear force is zero okay so already we have written one assumption in unit number six so according to this assumption in that beam only bending stresses will be present only bending stresses will be present and shear stresses are zero shear stresses are zero this is theoretical, but practically, suppose we have taken any type of beam and we are applied load. So whenever we will apply load, at that time, two stresses will be generated in practical. First will be shear force and or shear stress and second will is, second is the bending stress. Okay, so this assumption is limited to theoretical concept. But in practical, there will be two stresses. First one is the shear force or shear stress and second one is the bending stress. And these bending stresses will be calculated by using Fletcher formula. 
these bending stresses will be calculated by using flexor formula and these shear stresses will be calculated using shear stress formula tau which is equal to esa y bar divided by i so this is the equation for finding out shear stress and by using this equation we have to see how stress distributes in different sections so first we will derive this equation okay in any examination this derivation will not ask just you have to remember this equation but as a engineer you know that how this equation will comes so we will take this derivation and after that we will start our syllabus so please write down first point shear stress equation shear stress equation derivation of shear stress equation or shear stress equation shear stress equation shear stress equation okay first we will write one assumption and then we will derive so please write down assumption let let at any section at any section let at any section ab so we have taken suppose one section ab the bending moment the bending moment the bending moment the bending moment and shear forces are bending moment and shear force shear force are shear force are shear force are m and s that is bending moment we will write as a m and shear force we will write as a s respectively respectively okay respectively solve for it let another section that means we will consider second section let let another section let another section another section cd another section cd at a distance at a distance at a distance at a distance dx from ac sorry ab from ab that means we have taken section second cd at distance dx from ab okay from ab the bending moment and the bending moment the bending moment and shear force are the bending moment and shear force are m plus dm and m plus dm and s plus ds s plus ds respectively s plus ds respectively okay so now you concentrate here so for this derivation we have considered two section first section is ab section and in that bending moment is m and shear force is s after that we have taken another section at a distance of ds suppose this is our ab section and from this we have taken at dx distance this is cd section okay so like that so moment at ab is m and shear force is s moment is m and shear force is s suppose like this and for this cd section moment is m plus dm that's why we, because of we have taken at dx distance and suppose this is moment and shear force is s plus ds okay so likewise this is our first assumption now we will derive equation so first we will calculate bending stress in ab section bending stress in ab section so how we will calculate bending stress so sigma which is equal to m by i into y so this is the equation for finding out bending stress in ab equation ab section after that we will calculate in cd section okay in cd section so for this sigma plus d sigma which is equal to the value of moment is m plus dm divided by i into y so by using this this equation we will calculate 
bending stress in that CD section. Now you observe here both values for stresses. Now I have to convert this stress into force. Convert this stress into force. So how I will convert this stress into force? Convert stress into force. Ah, yes, how we will convert this stress into force? So already you know that one basic we have studied in unit number one. Sigma which is equal to force upon area. So force which is equal to sigma into area. So if we will multiply by left and right side to area, then you will get the value of force. So we are considering here small portions. So we will consider area as a del. A. Okay. So sigma plus d sigma as it is. Okay. Sigma plus d sigma as it is. Sigma plus d sigma into area is del A, which is equal to this equation as it is. For this, we will multiply by area. So m plus d m divided by i into y into area is del A. Okay. Up to this, anybody having any doubt? Okay. Now. We will combine this equation. So ds, which is equal to ds, which is equal to, we will equate this right side of this equation and right side of this equation. Okay. So first we will write this m plus dm divided by i. Okay, divided by i. Here also y and here also y. So we will take common. Okay. After that, so minus m by i okay into y da into y da this plus m and this minus m gets cancelled so what is remaining ds which is equal to dm divided by i into y da into y da so this is I, I, here Denominator is same now. M plus dm minus m divided by i. Denominator is same. So we will take as common. Na? Okay. So this is related to small strip. Okay. This is related to small strip. Now we will calculate total unbalanced force. That means we will consider whole section here. Okay. For whole section. So total unbalanced force which is equal to. Zara pila total force kadaita center hechi kai kare lagel. Summation karai lagel. Hunja pila la total force mele. So total unbalanced force. Unbalanced force. Total unbalanced force which is equal to. Summation of dm upon i into yda. Into yda. From this, we will take dm upon i as a constant. So, which is equal to dm divided by i in bracket summation of y da. So, y da nothing but dm upon i. Okay, y nothing, y da is nothing but a into y1. Then we will take summation. That means we will take derivative here. So, sorry, addition. So, this is A into Y bar. So total unbalanced force is dm upon I into A Y bar. Next target is you have to find out shear stress. Shear stress. So stress equation basic force upon area. So we will write here total unbalanced force divided by area. Divided by area of that particular section. So total unbalanced force is dm upon i into a y bar, a y bar divided by now area. So area is nothing but already we have considered this dx distance. Okay. So depth dx into width b. Okay. Now we will shift this. So after shifting dm upon i into a y bar into 1 divided by dx into dx into b. Okay. So which is equal to now we will dm by dx. dm by dx. 
After that, what is remaining? A y bar divided by i into b. Now you use here concept already we have studied it in unit number five. Interrelation between intensity of load, shear force, and bending moment. When we will take derivative of moment, at that time you will get shear force S A y bar S A. Yes, nothing but derivative of this moment. So S A y bar divided by I B. So this is the shear stress equation. So shear stress is denoted by using tau. So tau which is equal to S A y bar divided by I B. So this is the derivation for this shear stress equation. If this derivation is not remember, don't worry. But you have to remember this equation. You have to remember this equation. Okay. So we will write each term in that equation. So shear stress equation is shear stress equation is tau which is equal to S A y bar divided by I B. Okay. Now we will understand each term in that equation. So tau means already you know that shear stress. Tau is nothing but shear stress. After that, S means what is the meaning of S in that equation? S is shear force. S nothing but shear force. After that we will move towards this I. So I means movement of inertia. Already you know that movement of inertia movement of inertia now this b b means width width of section where you are going to find out shear stress ki width kay hona re tumchi ta location nusar change hot asthe thik hai width of section where where calculate shear stress shear stress after that this a y bar area means area of that particular section and y bar is nothing but centroid of that particular section okay cg so for this i will use one example here suppose this is i section okay this is i section and we have to find out the shear stress at this distance or at this point shear stress at this point so area is nothing but that much portion this b into d and y bar so y bar means distance from neutral axis to centroid of that particular section so this is called as a y bar okay and we are finding out at this distance so b which is equal to suppose this is distance is 100 and this distance is 10 okay this distance is 10 so we are finding out the stress at this point so b which is equal to 100 okay but if i am going to find out the stress at this point stress at this point at that time b which is equal to 10 m so width will be changed according to location of stress and y bar is nothing but distance from neutral axis to centroid of that particular section okay so please take screenshots then we will move towards shear stress distribution for rectangular and circular section time hota university aaj se laga aaj ka hum kya question aala hai युनिट नंबर सिक्स सेवन Okay, so please write down next point. Shear stress distribution. Yes, write down next point. Shear stress distribution 
shear stress distribution shear stress distribution in various shapes in various shapes so first we will take a rectangular section first we will take a rectangular section a rectangular section so already you know that in rectangular rectangular section maximum shear stress which is equal to 3 by 2 times tau average this equation you have studied in diploma yes tau max which is equal to 3 by 2 or 1.5 times tau average 1.5 times tau average but how this comes we will see here this derivation again not asked in any examination but this equation is most important in any competitive examination or gate examination or for your university examination also so first we will see how this equation comes draw rectangular section first suppose this is rectangular section then we will draw neutral axis for this rectangular section okay so this is the this is the depth and this is the width of rectangular section and this distance is okay so this is the width of section this is the width and this is the total depth of section d we will call as a d suppose you have to find out this distance so how you will find out this distance see concentrate here this is the total depth d and you have to find out this distance so this distance which is equal to d by 2 after that we will take one strip in that we will find out shear stress okay so this is the strip i will mark label here so suppose this is a point this is b point this is c and this is d and we are calculating shear stress at ef point ef point that means for this particular area okay for this area so now you tell me the depth of this area which is equal to how much so this okay please see here from neutral axis to edge of this this distance is y and you have to calculate this depth so d will y madun d by 2 minus karna hai ka d by 2 madun y by 2 and distance maximum d by 2 distance jast hai na tar depth kiti asel ma tumchi hi d by 2 minus y okay after that we required centroid of this section we required centroid of this section this is called as y bar this is called as y bar okay so this is the figure for rectangular section rectangular section a b c d having width b and total depth is d after that we have drawn here neutral axis and the depth of neutral axis from top is d by 2 and from bottom also d by 2 now shear stress equation tau which is equal to sa y bar divided by ib so width is depend on this location of stress i moment of inertia is depend on type of section okay after that s means shear force and this shear force is depend on which type of beam is given and on that beam uh, intensity of load how much load is applied from that we will calculate shear force now we have to calculate this yes a y bar only we have to calculate here a y bar so first we will calculate a y bar which is equal to so area means area of that particular strip so now you tell me area which is equal to how much this is the width and this is the depth for this section so width is b as it is 
into depth already we have calculated here this is d by 2 from that we will minus this y so area is d by 2 minus y okay now we have to focus for this y bar higher value y bar value kon sangte logo question kya calculate karna D by two बर हाँ ही तब अंतर करो बराबर है चला D by two minus one minus बर divided by two plus ever बर हम संख्या लिख सकते हैं तो this is total distance D by two हम्म D by two minus अगर तेरे चाहे तो ना पहला minus कराए जाए तो क्या minus कराए जाए या सेंटर पास उन इतो पर ऐसा डिस्टेंस माइनस कराया जाए, बरोबर है? है डिस्टेंस माइनस कराया जाए, सो व्हिच इज इक्वल टू वन हाफ ऑफ डी बाय टू माइनस बाय, अलग अलग शब्द बगा, अपने ही टोटल डेफ्ट की त्याह है डी बाय टू माइनस बाय, तो चाहे हाफ डिस्टेंस माइनस कराया जाए, सो वन हाफ डी बाय टू हे टोटल डिस्टेंस न्यूट्रल एक्सिस पासून टॉप पर्यंत d/2 आहे ठीक आहे आता आपल्याला ह्याची पहिले डेप्थ फाइंड आउट करायची आहे तर ती डेप्थ फाइंड आउट करण्यासाठी काय करावं लागेल ह्या टोटल डिस्टेंस मधून हा y माइनस केला किती शिल्लक राहिले d/2 y आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सेंट्रॉइड ऑफ दिस म्हणजे काय करावं लागेल हे जे काय ह्याची डेप्थ आहे d/2 y त्याचा हाफ म्हणजे त्याचा काय असणार आहे c जी असणार आहे सो one half d by two minus y. Now y bar which is equal to y bar which is equal to d by two minus d divided by four minus minus y by two. Okay. After that we will make same denominator here. So two into two. So y bar which is equal to 2d minus d divided by 4. Okay, minus y by 2. So, y bar which is equal to? Kara calculation sang aki tail. D by 4 minus d by 4 minus y by 2. But you take looks at the item minus sign. Here minus for a hard D minus. When here minus neither have I love minus Y love multiply kilo 3 to plus Y and I plus Y by 2. So this is the plus Y by 2. Okay. Now Y bar which is equal to Y bar which is equal to 2D minus D that is D by 4 plus y by 2. So from this we will take 1 by 2 common. Okay. So what is remaining? y bar which is equal to 1 by 2 in bracket d by 2 plus y. Okay. So this is the value of this y bar. And now we will put in a y bar equation. So our a y bar equation is a y bar which is equal to area already we have calculated b into d by 2 minus y into y bar is one half into d by two plus y. Okay, d by two plus y. So we will take this one half common here. So a y bar, which is equal to a y bar, which is equal to b by two. Now we will multiply by this d by two to this d by two. So how we will get d square divided by four. That D ni had D multiply kela. And he had 2 ni had 2 la multiply kela. After that, this y to this y. Minus y plus y minus y square. So this is the a bar. B by 2, a square divided by 4. Sorry, d square. Eh? D square by 4 minus y square. So this is the value of a y bar. Now we will put this value in shear stress equation. We will put this value in shear stress equation. So what is our shear stress equation?
okay so shear stress equation is sa y bar divided by ib so tau which is equal to sa y bar divided by ib so now this s and ib we will take as it is s divided by ib and the value of this a y bar is b by 2 in bracket d square divided by 4 minus y square okay now we will put the value of this moment of inertia so moment of inertia for rectangular section pd cube by 12 so 12 at denominator of this i so it will go at numerator so 12 s divided by pd cube into b into b by 2 in bracket d square divided by 4 minus y square so here this b and this b gets cancelled yes this b and this b gets cancelled so here 12 s is there so 2 1 that 2 2 six that 12 okay so tau which is equal to 6 yes divided by 6s divided by bd cube only a yeah? bd cube into what is remaining d square by 4 d square by 4 minus y square so this is the general equation for shear stress now we will put we will put at this b point okay we will find out shear stress at b point so put put y which is equal to d by 2 plus d by 2 huh? above neutral axis value is plus d by 2 so y which is equal to plus d by 2 so whenever we will put at that time you will get shear stress at b point shear stress at b so i will put here so tau which is equal to 6s as it is bd cube in bracket d square by 4 Okay, d square by four minus d square by d square by four. So this and this term will get cancelled. So what is remaining? Tau which is equal to zero. Heat term zero zero. So later heat term will be zero. Now automatic. So shear stress at top which is equal to zero. Now I will put. Y which is equal to minus d by two. Y which is equal to minus d by two. So tau which is equal to six x divided by b d cube into this d square by four as it is. This minus as it is. No no. Why it comes plus? This minus sign as it is. No. This mi minus for this y value na. So d square of this minus is d square plus d square. And two is four. So again, this term gets cancelled. So shear stress at bottom is zero. Then I will put the value of y which is equal to zero. I will put value of y which is equal to zero. Then we y to value zero put करा तो सही तरफ put ला location ला stress find out करते हैं. Y to value zero put करते हैं मुझे put ला location ला अपन stress find out करते हैं. Neutral axis. Okay, so then we will put y which is equal to zero. Put y which is equal to zero. So equation is tau which is equal to six s divided by b d cube in bracket d square by four minus zero minus zero. So here d square and 2d gets cancelled. 2 to the 4, 2 to the 6. So this is this means already y max. So tau max, which is equal to what is remaining 3 by 2 into s divided by bd. So s nothing but force and bd nothing but area. That means tau max, which is equal to 3 times of tau average. So force upon area means stress. So tau max, which is equal to three by two into tau average, or you remember tau max, which is equal to one point five times tau average. 
so if this derivation is not remember no matter but you have to remember this block only this block definitely one mcq will be asked for rectangular or for circular so for rectangular section maximum shear stress which is equal to 1.5 times tau average that much you have to remember average means we are finding out shear stress for that particular strip force upon area okay so this is the derivation for rectangular section now we will move towards circular section so please take screenshots for this wait i will stop camera so you will get full screen okay so derivation for circular section is difficult but we will solve here Okay, write down next heading. Shear stress distribution for circular section. Shear stress distribution for circular section. Kya so circular section sati formula? Ato the ko kona la. काय माहिती मॅडम डिप्लोमा मी ऑनलाईन मध्ये केला आता जो आपण डिराईव्ह केला त्याच टर्म मध्ये सांगायचा टाउ मॅक्स विच इज इक्वल टू हाऊ मच टाइम्स टाउ एव्हरेज मला हे सांगा ते पॉइंट फाईव्ह येऊन देऊ सांगू नका हा टाउ मार्क्स विच इज इक्वल टू हाऊ मच टाइम्स ऑफ टाव एव्हरेज जसं की आपण रेक्टँग्युलरला थ्री बाय टू काढतो तसं सर्क्युलरला किती असतं काय आठवतोय का आठवत असेल तर सांगा अदरवाईज यू विल डिवाइड युअर बघा काय आठवतंय का थोडं फार तरी कुणीतरी चार्ट बॉक्स मध्ये टाकलंय बघू थांब फोर बाय थ्री ओके गुड मानसी हॅज रिमेंबर फॉर सर्क्युलर सेक्शन टाउ मॅक्स विच इज इक्वल टू फोर बाय थ्री टाउ एव्हरेज फोर बाय थ्री टाउ एव्हरेज दिस इज द फॉर सर्क्युलर सेक्शन नाव वी विल डिराईव्ह डेरिव्हेशन इज डिफिकल्ट बट वी विल डिराईव्ह हिअर सो फर्स्ट वी विल कन्सिडर सर्क्युलर सेक्शन okay first we will consider circular section after that i will draw here neutral axis so suppose this is neutral axis and we have to calculate a stress at this strip okay stress here so we will label as a ef strip okay this is called as ef and suppose this is area this area of this strip after that distance from this centroid to this vertical is y vertical is y and from this y to f is nothing but r radius okay and now you have to find out the width of this e of strip the e of ki value kay asel he tumhala find out karaycha hai kaso find out karal काय करावं लागेल इथं तुम्हाला हे ई एफ फाइंड आउट करायचं आहे विड ऑफ ई एफ यू हॅव टू फाइंड आउट फर्स्ट विड ऑफ ई एफ सो विड ऑफ ई एफ विच इज इक्वल टू काय कन्सेप्ट यूज करावं लागेल इथं कस फाइंड आउट करायला लागेल आय विल गिव्ह वन हिंट हिअर वी विल अजून वन पॉइंट here we will assume one point suppose we will call as a n we will call as a l now you tell me how we will find out this is 90 degree 
okay so here we will apply pythagoras theorem and from this we will calculate this nf distance and when we will multiply by this nf to 2 you will get this ef distance okay so first we will apply pythagoras theorem so nf so according to this pythagoras theorem apply pythagoras theorem so according to this theorem r square which is equal to r square which is equal to y square plus nf square we are finding out this now nf square we require this distance so nf square which is equal to r square minus y square now i will take square root so nf which is equal to square root of r square minus y square so this is the nf and we want this here so how you will get this here so ef which is equal to 2 times square root of r square minus y square so this is the width of this ef strip after that we will calculate a y bar after that we will calculate a y bar which is equal to okay so here we will take integration y to r that means from this y distance to radius which is equal to 2 times square root of r square minus y square into y dy okay into y dy so this term is a y bar here you have to take integration but we will first assume 2 square root of r square y square let we will assume 2 square root of r square minus y square which is equal to u karan he jara thoda calculation sathi difficult jate mhanna pan hi purna term 2 under root r square minus y square which is equal to u okay so if i will take square i will take square at that time you have to write 4 r square y square which is equal to how much mala hai square root kada hai jay chati me hai square kai the kaya sna re that's a square 4 into r square minus y square which is equal to u gena ra ka u square gena we are taking square for both sides ma u cha square kaya sen u square Okay, so we will put the value here in this equation. So after taking derivative, now we will take the derivative. Derivative of this equation. Derivative of this equation with respect to y. With respect to y. So for y, minus sign is there. For as it is 0. We are finding out with respect to y. So this r will, term will be 0. After that, derivative of this y square is two y into dy two y into dy which is equal to derivative of this u square two u into du so this is the derivative of this equation after that we will rearrange this equation okay so y dy which is equal to minus 1 by 4 into u du these two and these two gets cancelled okay so this 4 we will shift to this side so minus 1 by 4 into u du so you have to ask the question if minus 4 is right side like or plus 4 is right side so divide like so if it is minus 4 plus y dy so we have to get plus 4 plus when it have for already multiplication madhe to divide madhe gela hai tamam to as it is sign new shall bar he concept pan bara jana na clear na sat tamam tanna parat doubt asto ki tar vei tar madam plus to minus karte minus to plus mahi ta kaya jati ki tere thik hai so our equation is y dy which is equal to minus 1 by 4 into du so a y bar which is equal to now we will write a y bar which is equal to integration of u to 0 integration of u to 0 
u into the value of this is minus 1 by 4 into u into du u into du so from this so at that time u into 1 by 4 into u du then negative to positive karna sathi aplyala kay karay lagta limit change kela ata apan kay karuya 1 by 4 common kela so a y bar which is equal to 1 by 4 0 to u what is remaining u square into du now we will take here integration so a y bar which is equal to 1 by 4 integration of this u square no, this is y by 2 is the integration. Pass the so u cube divided by 3. This is the integration of this u square. So a y bar which is equal to u cube divided by 12. So this is the value for only yes a y bar divided by i b. For this a y bar, this value. Now we will write our shear stress equation. So shear stress tau which is equal to S A Y bar divided by I B. Derivation is difficult, but you concentrate here. At least you get idea how this equation will come. Okay, so we will write here tau which is equal to S divided by I B. First we will write as it is into the value of a y bar value of a y bar is u cube divided by 12. now we will put the value of i we will put the value of i so moment of inertia for circular section what we are considering here with respect to r hmm? so Okay, first we will here write S divided by I. Okay, S divided by I into U cube by 12 as it is into the width of this strip. Width of this strip is we have written here 2 under root R square minus Y square. Okay, and we have marked as a U. So, width is 1 by u. Okay. So, here 1 u and 1 u gets cancelled. So, tau which is equal to s divided by i into u square by 12. That is remaining. Okay. So, the value of this u square. Value of this u square. What is the value of this u square? We have written here now. 4 under root, sorry, 4 r square y square. So s divided by i into value of this 4 r square minus y square divided by 12. So 4 1s are 4, 4 3s are 12. Now we will put the value of this r. So tau which is equal to what is remaining s r square minus y square divided by 3r. Okay. So tau which is equal to s r square minus y square divided by 3 as it is into pi by 4 into r square sorry pi by 4 into r raised to 4 we are taking here with respect to this r so we will shift this 4 to numerator so tau which is equal to 4 s in bracket r square minus y square divided by 3 into pi r raised to 4. 3 into pi r raised to 4. Same here, after that you have to put value of this y square. 
okay value of this y square so after putting value of y square you will get, you will get shear stress at top and shear stress at bottom is zero and at neutral axis only at neutral axis so shear stress which is equal to what is remaining 4s divided by 3 pi into r square so here you have to put value of y square and we will put the value of y with respect to this r so this s by pi r square is nothing but 4 by 3 into tau average tau average so tau max which is equal to 4 by 3 tau average so likewise this equation will come if this derivation is not understand don't remember or don't worry you have to require only this equation and this equation don't forget otherwise one mark will be lost for in university examination or in any competitive examination to me but after parents reka the exam agar it is a the shear stress distribution to equation rectangular kima circular to a question fix us to so for rectangular section tau max which is equal to 1.5 tau average and for circular section tau max which is equal to 4 by 3 tau average so take screenshots then we will solve examples that is sangai to my letter to malami don't mean that some of us take a shear stress tau max for a rectangular section tau max for rectangular section which is equal to 1.5 tau average and tau max for circular section 3 by 4 tau average but here to be already diplomat chikla the don't equation to be already diplomat chikla sir I am sure in diploma this derivation not teach for you. It to be for hell and yet that is a tip of top and get the lake derivation yet to pass it. Chicken. Now we will solve numericals on this shear stress distribution. Okay. So examples are very easy. This derivation is difficult. So please skip this part. Only remember equations. Tau max for rectangular section is 1.5 tau average. And tau max for circular section is 4 by 3 tau average. Now we will solve numericals. Please write down first example. A beam of span. A beam of span. A beam of span 10 meters. Ah, yes, remaining students, please concentrate here. A beam of span 10 meter simply supported at its ends. Simply supported at its ends. Simply supported at the ends. At the ends. Better, I will start camera. Simply supported at the ends. Simply supported at the ends. Carries a carries a point load. Carries a point load. Carries a point load. Five hundred kilonewton at center of span. Five hundred kilonewton at the center of span at the center of span at the center of span full stop i section shown in the below figure i section i section shown shown in figure below shown in figure below shown in figure below draw draw the shear stress distribution draw the shear stress distribution shear stress distribution and its value and its value 
so we have to draw shear stress distribution and for this also we have to write values so here first we will draw simply supported beam is given okay so simply supported beam and how much load is applied 500 kN and the location of this 500 at center okay so this is the simply supported beam here 500 kN load is applied and span is suppose this is 5 meter and this is 5 meter because of total span is 10 meter so this is a point and this is b point from this we have to find out shear force huh? that's why this beam is given now i will draw i section simultaneously you can also draw so this width is 150 mm this is 20 mm this is also 20 mm this is 150 mm 150 mm and this distance is 10 this distance is 10 and this vertical distance is 250 mm 250 mm so this is the question so first we will calculate shear force by using this simply supported beam so how much shear force will be there without calculating kon sangu shakte ho kiti shear force asel calculation no karta shear force at a and shear force at b is equal 250 so this point load is act at center so half load will be carried by a point and half load will be carried by b point so shear force is 250 250 but suppose you have to find out by calculation then how how we will calculate suppose anybody having find out by calculation so shear force so for finding out this shear force you have to first summation fb which is equal to 0 so fb ra plus rb minus 500 which is equal to 0 so ra plus rb which is equal to 500 so this is our equation 1 after that we will apply second equation summation moment at a which is equal to 0 so this rb creates anti clockwise moment so minus rb into 10 this 500 creates clockwise moment so plus 500 into perpendicular distance is 5 which is equal to 0 now we will shift this minus 10 rb to right side minus 10 rb to right side so 500 into 5 which is equal to how much 25 double zero which is equal to 10 rb which is equal to 10 rb so rb which is equal to 25 double zero divided by 10 so rb which is equal to 250 250 kN and ra which is equal to then we will put this in equation 1 so ra which is equal to 500 minus 250 so ra which is equal to 250 kN so likewise you have to find out shear force so we will draw diagram here so shear force at a upward 250 after that in between a to b there is no force so constant up to this point after that it will go downward 500 that means up to baseline 
and after that below baseline 250. So there is no force constant and here upward 250. So this is 250 and this is also 250. So this is the way. Okay. Then we will calculate moment of inertia for this section. For this <coughs> section. Now you tell me this section is symmetric or unsymmetric section. <laughs> symmetric section. So first we will calculate moment of inertia. I which is equal to PD cube divided by 12. Okay, but you observe here. First, we will consider this as a whole. This section as a whole rectangular section that is capital BD cube by 12 minus 2 into small BD cube divided by 12. Okay, so capital width is 150. So I which is equal to 150 into total depth 250 plus 20 plus 20 to 90 cube divided by 12 minus minus 2 into BD cube by 12. So first we have to calculate this B. So this, this distance. So how we will calculate this distance? 150 minus 10. So that is 240. Okay. And divided by 2 because of here and here. Sorry, 140 divided by 2 because of half is here and half is here. So minus 72 into 70 into depth. Depth is already here. 250. So 250 cube divided by 12. So you calculate and tell me I which is equal to how much? into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. This is the moment of inertia. Now we will calculate, suppose we will mark this as a A point, this as a B, this is C, suppose this is our neutral axis, and A, at neutral axis, this is D point, this is E, F, and G. So we have to find out stress at both points. Okay, so first we will start from A to G. So now you tell me at A and G, shear stress will be how much? At A and at G, shear stress will be how much? Okay, before that I will explain one concept. Okay, so I will move towards this rectangular section. So I have to draw stress distribution diagram for this rectangular section. Okay, I have to draw stress distribution diagram for this rectangular section. So first I will extend this neutral axis. Suppose this is our line, section line. Okay, now you observe here why power is highest power of y is Two. That means stress distribution diagram is linear or parabolic. Parabolic. Okay. Then we will put d by two. At that time, you get value zero. After that, we put y which is equal to minus d by two. So shear stress at bottom is zero. And when we will put y which is equal to zero, that means we are calculating stress at neutral axis. Value is maximum. Suppose we will mark here. Okay. And this connection we have to draw by parabola. Okay. We have to draw by parabola. Because of highest power of y is here 2. So connection is parabolic. Now shear stress at top 0. Shear stress at bottom 0. And shear stress at neutral axis max zero maximum so maximum so here you remember stress distribution diagram is parabolic because of highest power of y is two after that remember one thing shear force is zero at top and bottom and maximum at neutral axis 
whereas in bending stress distribution diagram shear sorry bending stress is zero at neutral axis and maximum at top and bottom baka hi stress distribution diagram kashi hoti tachi like this okay je bending stress neutral axis la zero ahe ani to maximum kute ahe top ani bottom la tacha opposite शेयर स्ट्रेस टॉप एंड बॉटम ला जीरो आहे आणि न्यूट्रल एक्सिस ला मॅक्सिमम आहे मग अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन डायग्राम नाउ यू टेल मी स्ट्रेस एट ए एंड जी व्हिच इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच झिरो सो वी विल राइट हियर टाउ ए व्हिच इज इक्वल टू टाउ जी व्हिच इज इक्वल टू झिरो नाउ दिस सेक्शन इज सिमेट्रिक सेक्शन इफ यू कॅल्क्युलेट व्हॅल्यू बी सेम व्हॅल्यू फॉर ए you calculate for c same value for e and d is the neutral axis okay so <coughs> this distance is how much and this is total depth is 290 okay total depth distance is 290 so from this this distance is how much 145 and this is also 140 5 okay this is also 145 now we will calculate shear stress at this b point shear stress at b so at that time we have to consider this trip we have to consider this trip so shear stress at b which is equal to shear stress at which point jevda stress b point la asnar hai tevda stress kutla point la asnar hai f point la asnar okay so how we will calculate this kasa calculate karnar hai stress already we have derived one equation so shear stress tau b which is equal to tau f which is equal to sa y bar divided by i b so shear force already we have calculated and the value of shear force is 250 so we will convert into newton so 250 into 10 raised to 3 after that you have to take area so we are calculating at b so that is why you have to consider this whole strip so width into depth so width is 150 into depth is 20 now we have to mark y bar so y bar is from this center to neutral axis distance from this central to neutral axis distance so y bar is nothing but 145 minus 20 by 2 divided by moment of inertia already we have calculated moment of inertia is 122.57 into 10 raised to 6 into now width we are calculating at b so for this we have to consider this total b so width is 150 so you calculate and tell me tau b which is equal to tau f which is equal to how much वन फोर्टी फाइव बे न्यूट्रल एक्सिस डिस्टन्स वन फोर्टी फाइव तुम अपने हाफ माइनस कर सो माइनस ट्वेंटी बाय टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव ओके सो फाइव पॉइंट फाइव न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर फाइव पॉइंट फाइव न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर After that, next we will calculate shear stress at this C point. Shear stress at C point. So shear stress at C, which is equal to shear stress at E. So tau C, which is equal to tau E, which is equal to same equation you have to follow. S A Y bar divided by I B. So which is equal to okay. So we are finding out at this C. That means you have to consider again this whole part. okay again this whole part so s is already we have calculated 
250 into 10 raised to 3. Now area for this strip, same area, 150 into 20. Again y bar is same because we are calculating at this point. So half of this strip to this neutral axis. That is 145 minus 20 by 2. Okay, 140 by 45 minus 20 by 2 divided by now i is 122.5 into 10 raised to 6 here now width will be changed we are finding out this c point so here for this c width is 10 so you calculate and tell me tau c which is equal to tau e which is equal to how much Eighty-two point six. Okay. Eighty-two point six. Eighty-two point six. Okay. 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 Then we will calculate shear force at this D point. Shear force at D. At the D single point, we are going to common it above and below. So next is nothing but shear force at D. So tau D, which is equal to. Now you concentrate here for this D. Huh? So we are calculating at this. So you have to consider this strip as well as this strip. So what are we doing? D. दोन स्ट्रीप कन्सिडर कर शेयर स्ट्रेस कैलक्युलेट कर एरिया सो टाउ डी विच इज इक्वल टू यस ए वाय बार डिवाइडेड बाय आई बी इक्वेशन इज से शेयर फोर्स इज अगेन सेम टू फिफ्टी इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री इंटू नाउ वी हेव टू कन्सिडर दीज टू स्ट्रीप सो ए इंटू वाय बार For these two strips, we will take separately. So first, we will for this strip one. So this is one fifty into twenty, and y bar for this particular strip is one forty five minus ten. That is one thirty five. Okay. Now we will calculate for this strip. Okay, we will calculate for this strip. So here plus. So here. इत बोन स्ट्रीप है फर्स्ट पहला स्ट्रीप का लगे प्लस दुसरी स्ट्रीप सो एरिया फॉर दिस सेकेंड स्ट्रीप एरिया फॉर दिस सेकेंड स्ट्रीप इज हाउ मच दिस इज टेन ओके दिस इज टेन एंड दिस डिस्टन्स दिस डिस्टन्स दिस इज टोटल टू फिफ्टी ओके आउट ऑफ दिस टू फिफ्टी बाय टू So this distance is one twenty five. So one twenty five into ten into now here we have to take y bar from neutral axis. So directly we will take one twenty five by two. One twenty five by two. So one twenty five by two. So this is the a y bar for this b section. Then we will divide by moment of inertia and width. Moment of inertia and width. So moment of inertia is one twenty two point five into ten raised to six. Now you tell me width, which is equal to how much? We are calculating at which point? D point. And at D width is ten mm. So we will write ten. Now you calculate and tell me tau D, which is equal to how much? मैक्सिम चुकते चेक करा चेक करा केतन तुम जब उन्हें आंसर करेक्ट ही आता कैलकुलेट करा
82.6 not possible. Akash, what is it? You need to online reply. Dilai, 82.6. Calculate the rest of the category. Bhagwana calculate. 98.54 is correct answer. 98.99. something is correct. 98.54 or 56 Newton per mm square is correct answer. You calculate. But take to me Sada which are the right. Yapon 150 into 20 into 135 nipon 82.6. And it touches the additional upon 125 into 10 into 125 by 2 for the answer the same as 98.59. Yes, 98.59 or 54 Newton per mm square. So now our stress calculation part is over. Second step is we have to draw stress distribution diagram for this I section. Okay, so now we will draw stress distribution diagram for this I section. Get the cancer check that up. Just take it to all of the just a Catholic don't mean to wear the the scientific can say the letter like its calculations are it by you. The can sit there and say, Okay, now we will draw shear stress distribution diagram. Concentrate here. So, first we will draw given I section. So, given I section is symmetric I. Okay, we will draw here. Kaisala. पर ते ते की स्क्रीनशॉट लगे आते ड्रॉ थ्रू करू आपण फिगर कॅल्क्युलेशन करायचे वर ठीक आहे करा हां One fifty jati double bracket tackling it three the middle. Baga Javi to be Kelsey, the Lubut Katana, the one fifty jet the double bracket takam and the Tumala the close Gartana double close Garab. Close Gartana the near close the letter is not the radio shop. With a Kelsey of Rick Kartayat, the equal catch. Current class single much. Single multiplication hote. It's a double multiplication hai. It's a more key value same Double cal double bracket takun solve kara ma answer hai. Thik hai. So ninety eight point fifty nine or fifty four is correct answer. Now we will draw shear stress distribution diagram. Okay. So this is our I section. First we will extend all lines. Suppose here location of neutral axis. Okay, now we will draw shear stress distribution diagram here. Huh? So first we will draw this is baseline after that. Now you tell me shear stress at A, which is equal to how much shear stress at A? I will mark here points. Suppose this is our A point, this is B point, this is C, this is B point, this is E point, F, and last one is the G. So shear stress at A, which is equal to zero. zero. Shear stress at G, zero. 
Now shear stress at B. Five point five. So here five point five. After that you observe here same line C point is there. Same line C point. So same line we will mark here the value of C and the value of C is eighty two point sixty five. After that shear force at D. Ninety-eight point ninety-eight point fifty-four or fifty-nine. Okay. After that, same value for F. So eighty-two point sixty-five. After that, stress at B, which is equal to stress at E. E. So here. Okay. So five point five. Now we have to join these points. So shear stress distribution diagram is parabolic. So you have to draw parabola here. So this is parabolic. Now this is horizontal line. Okay. So you have to draw here horizontal. After that, from this point to this point, and this is parabolic nature. After that, here this is straight line, and this is. parabolic so this is the shear stress distribution diagram now our problem is over so likewise you have to solve problem take screenshots okay so 15 minutes are available with you so we will solve next example please take screenshots fast okay so same symmetric i section is given Instead of point load, uniformly distributed load is applied. That much change is there. So please write down example. A simply supported beam. A simply supported beam. Write down fast. I will read here. You write down fast. A simply supported beam of ten meter span. Simply supported beam of of 10 meter span is subjected to is subjected to is subjected to 100 kilo newton per meter udl 100 kilo newton per meter udl throughout span throughout span full stop full stop find the shear stresses at important locations find the shear stresses at important locations shear stresses at important locations shear stresses at important locations and draw and draw shear stress distribution diagram and draw shear stress distribution diagram so here i section is given i will write values here for this i section simultaneously you can also write okay suppose this is a point this is b c first we will locate neutral axis so suppose this is our neutral axis so this this point is d this is e f and last one is the g so for this question simply supported beam is given but on that beam which type of load is applied uniformly distributed load is applied and the intensity of this uniformly distributed load is 100 kilo newton per meter and span is 10 meter long 
so you calculate ra and rb and give me answer ra which is equal to how much and rb which is equal to how much by observing figure give me answer yes 100 into 10 1000 so this is central point load 1000 so from that half load will be carried by a point and half load will be carried by b point so ra which is equal to 500 and rb which is equal to 500 but by procedure summation fv which is equal to 0 so ra plus rb which is equal to 100 into 10 Okay, that is one thousand. After that, summation moment at A, which is equal to zero. Suppose we will consider this as A point and this as a B point. So minus R B into perpendicular distance is ten meter plus hundred into ten into it will act as a at ten by two, which is equal to zero. So from this you will get R B, which is equal to five hundred. Five hundred kilonewton. After putting R A, which is equal to one thousand minus five hundred, so R A, which is equal to five hundred. That is shear force, five hundred kilonewton. Okay. Then we will calculate moment of inertia. Next step is we have to calculate moment of inertia. And already you know that how to calculate moment of inertia. So for this. first we will consider this as a whole rectangular section so next step is moment of inertia i xx about xx axis which is equal to capital bd cube by 12 minus 2 into small bd cube by 12 okay so after that we will subtract this portion and this portion so i xx which is equal to capital b is 200 into capital d Three hundred plus twenty plus twenty. That is three forty. Three forty cube divided by twelve minus two into small b. So this is two hundred. Out of that, we will subtract this. This distance is twenty. Yeah. So two hundred minus twenty. That is one eighty. One eighty by two means ninety. So two into ninety into small d is three hundred. So three hundred cube divided by twelve. So you calculate and tell me I X X which is equal to how much? Check करा है इधर आंसर नहीं है. Two fifty point zero six into ten raised to six. Okay, two fifty point zero six into ten raised to six. Mm raised to four. So this is the moment of inertia. Then we will calculate stress at A, G, B, C, D. Okay. So stress at A and G. Tau at A, which is equal to tau at G, which is equal to zero. After that, we will calculate at B point. Okay. After that, we will calculate at B point. So tau B, which is equal to tau f which is equal to s a y bar divided by i b so tau b which is equal to tau f which is equal to shear force 500 we will convert into newton 500 into 10 raised to 3 into for this area this is area so 200 into 20 200 into 20 and y bar is first we will find out this distance so total distance is 340 out of that 340 divided by 2 how much 170 so this distance is 170 okay so 170 minus 20 by 2 170 minus 20 by 2 so you will get this cg so we will write here 160 okay Divided by moment of inertia. Moment of inertia is two fifty point zero six into ten raised to six into width is total this width two hundred. So tau b which is equal to tau f which is equal to six point. 
6.39 newton per mm square after that we will calculate shear stress at c so tau c which is equal to tau e which is equal to same equation sa y bar divided by i b here only width will be changed other dimensions as it is so tau c which is equal to tau e which is equal to 500 into 10 raised to 3 into area is same 200 by 20 into y bar is same 160 divided by moment of inertia to 50.06 into 10 raised to 6 into now width for this c section c point is 20 So you calculate and tell me tau c which is equal to tau e which is equal to how much? Sixty point ninety eight newton per mm square. Now last point is remaining shear stress at D. So we will calculate shear stress at D. So last point is shear stress at D. So tau d which is equal to s a y bar divided by i b so tau d which is equal to here you have to consider this strip as well as this strip so s 500 into 10 raised to 3 into okay first we will consider this strip so area is 200 into 20 into y bar for this 160 okay y bar for this 160 plus. Now we will move towards this strip. So 20 into height, 300 by 2. So here 20 into 150 into y bar is 150 by 2. That is 75. And here double bracket, you have to close and divided by 250. Point zero six into ten raised to six into now width at D point is twenty mm. So into twenty, so you will get tau D which is equal to eighty six point forty seven. Eighty six point forty seven. Yes, eighty six point. Forty seven Newton per mm square. Mata, check kara, check kara, Tar, at neutral axis, stress is maximum. Apla, neutral axis D point Tar, D point value maximum Last step is you have to draw shear stress distribution diagram. So draw draw. stress distribution diagram shear stress distribution diagram distribution diagram so for that first we will draw given section so given section is symmetric i section i will draw here After that, we will extend all lines. First, we will locate neutral axis. Okay, now we will draw baseline for this. Suppose this is our baseline. Now, first we will mark points. So this is our A point. This is B point. C. This is D, E, F, and G. This dimension is two hundred. This is twenty. This is again two hundred. This is three hundred, and this one is twenty. So shear stress at A zero, shear stress at G zero. After that, stress at B. 
zero, no, not zero. Shear stress at B is 6.39. So we will mark here 6.39. After that, at C, suppose here 63.98 and shear stress at D. 96 point, no, 86.47, no, 86.47. After that, shear force at F, which is equal to shear force at, first we will mark for E. So, shear force at E, which is equal to shear force at C, is 63.98. And shear stress at F, 6.39, and this is 0. So, from A to B, connection is parabolic. After that, from B to C, straight line. Okay, here from E, F, E, F is straight line, here parabolic. And this is again parabolic. So, this is the stress, stress distribution diagram okay likewise you have to solve problem take screenshots Please write down clap the meeting. Okay, so today we will stop here. Remaining examples will continue in next lecture. Thank you for attending lecture.